Good morning class 3 welcome back to the online computer class I hope you all are very good well and have enjoyed a lot your summer vacation today in our class we will do the extra questions of chapter 2 that is GUI operating system so let's get started first question that is what are the basic features of an operating system point number A it provides intelligence to hardware. You know operating system makes a hardware component work. Makes a person enable to work on a computer. It makes the computer user to work upon a computer system. Works as a resource manager to different devices attached to the computer like input device and output device. If you give any command to the uh, computer system through a keyboard so that uh, input command is connected through the computer memory is done through operating system and the command of output should be sought through monitor or any other output devices all these works are done through an operating system next question number two define the term booting the automated process of the loading of operating system at the time of switch on a computer system is called booting next question question number three is what is windows 10 case i have already discussed in the earlier classes windows is also a operating system so let's discuss what is windows 10 it is an operating system developed by microsoft with an extended and developed features used on personal computers like desktop and laptops kids windows 10 is very common operating system used in every type of desktop laptops notebooks okay now next is question number four what is a taskbar and what are its components the horizontal rectangular bar at the bottom of the desktop is called the taskbar now let's discuss the its component a on the left that is on the very part of the le very left part of a taskbar contains start button in the middle section of the taskbar it shows the program and files which are currently open currently open means on uh, the programs or any files which on which we currently working upon on the very right corner it shows the notification area now question number five what is a screen saver write down the steps to change the screen saver now pop the picture when a computer system is idle for a fixed time is called screen saver ideal time means ideal means kids if you are not working for a fixed time for example if you are not working on your computer system for about 30 seconds then a popped up picture automatically appears on the screen that uh, pictures are called screen saver now the steps of changing a screen saver first right click on the blank area of the desktop then a personalization option will appear from the personalization gallery you have to select the screen saver next from the screen saver dialog box select a screen saver from the drop down list then you have to select the ideal idle time in the wait box in the wait box kids you will get lots of time option like one minute 30 seconds two minutes it always depends upon what idle time you want now at last you have to click on apply and then ok after next question number six how would you arrange icons on the desktop following are the steps for arranging the icons on the desktop first of all we will right click on the blank area of the desktop a context menu will open from that context menu kids we will select the view option okay and then from the view option we will select on the auto arrange option after clicking on the auto arrange option all the icons that are not arranged in your desktop they will get arranged automatically in a perfect line next 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन राइट डाउन द स्टेप ऑफ शॉर्टिंग द आइटन आइकन अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर टाइप सो फॉलोइंग आर द स्टेप्स राइट क्लिक ऑन द ब्लैंक एरिया ऑफ द डेस्कटॉप अ कॉन्टेक्स मेन्यू विल ओपन दिस स्टेप इज वेरी कॉमन ओके यू हैव टू राइट दिस स्टेप इन एवरी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सिलेक्ट शॉर्ट बाई यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द शॉर्ट बाई ओके शॉर्ट बाई ऑप्शन फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेक्स मेन्यू एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द टाइप आफ्टर दैट क्लिकिंग ऑफ टाइप द आइकन विल गेट अरेज अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर टाइप question number 8 what steps would be followed to shut down a computer properly kids here i have mentioned properly why you know because uh, generally we do we just click uh, we just uh, press the power button of the computer of or any laptop to shut down a computer that is not that is not a proper way that is totally wrong you have to follow this step to shut down your computer in a very proper way so let's start to shut down a computer properly following are the steps to be followed first is click on the start button start button is is a uh, on the very left corner of the task bar and from that start button you have to just select on the shut down the windows will get close its own after clicking on the shut down option your windows get close its own and the computer gets shut down kids you have to note down all these eight extra questions in onto your computer fair notebook these are very important for your exam purpose okay till then bye bye take care